Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our next audio tutorial. Now, first of all, before we get into this, I definitely want to apologize and say it's been a while since I've recorded a video. I just really haven't been pushing myself enough. But hopefully, I'll be able to come back around and give you guys some more tutorials. So, with this tutorial, it's another audio tutorial, and we're going to be learning how to generate, easily generate, your own glitch sound effects. Kind of similar to this one right here. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to figure out how to do this, so I'm going to go and close this. So it's very easy, very simple to learn how to do this. All you've got to do is go to File, Import, and Raw Data. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to import a file into Audacity that was actually never designed to be a sound effect. So you can import things like videos, pictures, and different things like that. Now, one big problem you're going to run into, though, I found a lot of the videos when importing them into Audacity, they sound a lot just like a bunch of noise and fuzz. So, what I found that's very interesting is one of the best types of files to import to create a glitch sound effect is actually a 3D model. So, we're going to try this one right here. Being a 3D modeler, got some blend files right here. And you can just mess with whatever formats, file formats you can find in your computer. I just want to recommend to you guys... When importing files, either I would say make sure it's something that you have created or something that is licensed to allow you to use it. For example, if you're importing a copyrighted file, I mean, it's not their sound effect. You're making a glitch out of it, but you're still using their copyrighted file for a sound effect. So you could maybe run into issues. So just try to keep to a file that either, you, either you've made or that is licensed properly. So let's, any, let's go ahead and import this blend file right here. And it will generally have some settings right here. Um, I don't think I need to. I'm just going to switch this to sign 16-bit PCM. You don't have to do that. I'm just going to do it. And then just probably just leave it to whatever it's set at, except for... Well, I'm going to set this to stereo and import it. And we're going to see what it sounds like. So that is... I mean, that was pretty simple. It's not the best glitch sound effect. I could definitely mess with some other um, 3D models and see what I can come across. But after trimming that a little bit, I think I could turn that into a pretty good glitch sound effect. So let's try another one right here. Import and raw data. Let's try this OBJ I have right here. All right, import that. <laughs> it sounds almost a little bit like a song. All right. Um... Let me see, one other file I found that you can try working with is, um, let's see here. I actually use Visual Studio, so I create a lot of programs and stuff. So, for example, let's see a good one right here. If I, no, that one's not good. Um, alright, so for example, if I go to the debug folder, you see we have some exe, like the file that actually runs a program. So if I import that. I'm just going through my computer finding random files that I can import. So if I import that, and it sounds a little bit like a glitch. So basically, it just depends on what type of file it is, and you may have to try several different types of files. For example, if you don't have EXEs or um, 3D models that you can import, you may have to just run around a little bit and find files that will actually work for you but once you find a good type of file you can create lots of different really cool glitch sound effects extremely easily and it's that simple so guys thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you with the next video